Good morning, folks. We've got a slightly quieter sun here, not without significant things that we're going to have to watch. We also have two great papers on the docket today, both involving Earth's ongoing magnetic pole shift, one of them requiring a bit more background. But let's start with our star, and we see that the northern coronal hole continues turning through. It's unclear whether its solar wind will be directed too far northward to impact Earth. There is another coronal hole incoming near equatorial latitudes on the south from the left there. We are getting a bit of a break from the M-class flaring and seeing only smaller flares. You can see here and in 304 angstroms that none of the eruptive activity sent any considerable CMEs out that would cause concern. As I mentioned, we do still have things to watch. While the departing northern group is heading away, the incoming northern sunspots lost magnetic complexity from central umbral decay. But we do have yet another sunspot group incoming on the south. We're going to have to be watching the incoming activity and morphing on each of those groups as they begin to directly face Earth later this week. First paper on the docket today is an attempt to better understand the movement of Earth's magnetic poles. Focus more on the northern shift in this one, with some good background information on the recent acceleration of the field in just the last 30 years, a 4x increase in speed during that time. While no new information or insight is delivered, it is good to see the continued uptick in coverage of this topic in the journals. More and more scientists are recognizing they can't just ignore the planetary magnetic field shift anymore. Now, as we see some background papers on the sun, cosmic rays, and COVID. I want to mention that I don't necessarily buy these. While such a story would be big news for someone like me, I'm not at all convinced it wasn't engineered, along with the bioweapon fake remedy they're trying to ram down our throats, or arms, whatever. But the space radiation and virus connection is otherwise a very real thing, and the papers have shown that for decades. Which means, it's also a concern for increased radiation during Earth's weakening magnetic field. This upcoming presentation will dive into the mechanics of why Earth's ongoing pole shift is likely to lead to new and emerging disease from the planet itself, on top of whatever else our oh-so-benevolent leaders have in store for us. Big trouble on multiple fronts, as usual. To learn more about this ongoing magnetic pole shift, see the playlists and other resources listed below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.